we're going on a road trip. Where are we going, Sam? To one of my happy places. And what's one of your happy places? The lumber yard. Now we're back on the road. Why is the lumber yard one of your happy places? Well, I always used to go to the lumber yard with my dad. Uh, the first, the earliest time that I remember going to the lumber yard was, I think I was probably five. Um, you'd have to ask my mom if maybe there was a time I went before that. But um, my dad built churches, he built homes, he had a construction company that did uh, both commercial and residential remodeling, and he owned a kitchen and bath company, who, and we built kitchens and installed them. Uh, and so going to the lumber yard was kind of the thing that we did, you know, it was a really cool thing I got to do with my dad. Um, and so I have those memories from as early as I have, you know, human memories, I, uh, part of that is being able to build stuff with my dad and going to the lumber yard. So the lumber yard is a, it's kind of a special place. Um, the lumber yard we always went to in our tiny little town was called Mellinger's Lumber. And what's funny is, is that lumber yard was probably one of the, at the time, was probably one of the biggest lumber yards in the area and it was funny that it was in a town that we grew up in that had no stoplights we only had one restaurant and that was a Dairy Queen we only had one gas station um, it was a tiny little town but it had this huge lumber yard so it was a really big deal to go there and spend time there and you know stare at wood and make sure that it, uh, it's straight and watching my dad be picky about some things and not care about other things. And I learned a lot at a really young age. And so uh, going somewhere where I can get lumber and touch lumber and, you know, spend time in that is, it's always gonna be a special thing to me. Nice. We didn't get to go to my happy place today, did we? No. The garden center. Yeah. I was denied access to the garden center. <laughs> So why are we putting these in the shed instead of just taking them to the build site in the woods? Good question. So these are eight feet long and the floor joists, the 12 footers are going to be on the outside, on the long side of the cabin. These are going to be on the inside and we're going to, the floor is just going to be full sheets of plywood. We're not going to do a fancy floor. So to make the plywood fit, since they are, plywood is also four feet by eight feet, uh, we need to actually cut three inches off each one of these. 
So I figured I might as well do that here in my shop and then take them to the woods instead of taking them to the woods where I don't have electricity uh, and cutting them out there and then having random pieces of wood laying around the forest floor. So I can do that here and get it all ready to go to take out. Does that make sense? That makes sense. Maybe your wife should have bought you a fancy saw that operates on a battery, huh? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> So how much do those things weigh? Um, about 85 pounds a piece. 85 pounds? Yeah. It's a big guy. You uh, think maybe you could hurry up? Camera's getting a little heavy. Um, those weigh a, probably about a pound a piece. Oh, well, I don't want it to seem like I don't help you, so. Yeah, I can get these ones. Unbelievable. That's all for this week's video. Got a little bit of late start to the day. By the time we got to the lumber yard and got back, uh, we were losing our son a little bit. The uh, I did get all of the boards, all the floor joists cut down to size. I even cut down one of the six by sixes that'll be on the back side of the cabin. Um, 
did a little work that we didn't film, uh, cleaned up some of the area back in the woods. Uh, some of those vines and stuff we kind of pulled back uh, away from the cabin site. But uh, it was a good day. Um, uh, as uh, if you're new to the channel, this is not what we do for a living. Um, we are, uh, my wife and I are both pencil pushers during the week. Um, so the weekend's pretty much all we have. And that's fine, that's great. Uh, we have the weekends and we have the ability to do it. So we feel pretty blessed about that. So thanks all, thanks everyone for being here. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I think we'll be back in the woods uh, on the next video, actually doing some work. Uh, we're still bound by, uh, I mean, I don't have a hat on, but it's still, it's still cold. It's still only about 41 degrees right now. So too cold for concrete. So we're not gonna be able to actually uh, set up that uh, the actual posts in the ground with concrete, but um, uh, we're still moving along, still stuff we can be doing. So, uh, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you, and we'll catch you on the flip side.